What's going on, guys? Beat me here, bringing you an intro beginner's guide to Snapshot VR. Uh, we see it a lot when new players join. They don't know how to operate the dashboard or their player model, things of that sort. So I hope to clear a few things up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the pits. All right. So when you first join a lobby, you will see the two scoreboards, the admin pedestal right here, our nice little display board that will actively show eliminations and deaths for each round, a little mirror to say hi, and the gun calibration station. So first, let's go over this. This is an actual replica of the field that is currently being selected. As you can see, we have the Sunshine State Major, and it is here. So you can work with your teammates to kind of go over some strategies and whatnot. Up here, you'll find the two different teams. If there's any spectators, they'll be in the middle. It'll show your kills and deaths, along with the rest of your team and the opposing team as well. Here we have my gun. I'm going to want to grab my gun with the grip button, and now it's up. So if you don't like your grip when you first come in, you're going to want to come to this grip station. And when you put it in here, you're going to adjust it by holding the grip button, and it will change it. For some reason, if you don't like your positioning after you've adjusted it, you want to go back from scratch, you hit reset, which I'm not going to do because uh, I don't want to have to kind of reposition my gun. Anyways, where most people get confused is the pedestal right here. So if you are in a dedicated server and you become the host, you kind of have to know what's going on. So your game mode right here in the room, you can either do race the five, first to five points, or time mode of five minutes. Time mode is new and it is the way to go, trust me. Next is your arena. There are hundreds of maps to be choosing from all over. We have different tabs, like a featured tab that shows a few maps. The VRML, which is the VR Master League. All of these maps are from season one or season two. Or you have the practice tab where the maps have actual targets on them and you can shoot them, they'll ding, good to know. So if you're ever just trying to practice by yourself, that's a good tab to go to. Rate of fire. All right, so typically 10.5 is the uh, rate of fire we all choose. There is a tournament series that plays on 15, and I personally have never played five balls per second. Uncapped is kind of insane as well. Competitive mode, you'll always want to turn this on. When you turn competitive mode on, Essentially, when you are eliminated from a game, you can no longer hear the players on the field. If you do not have this checked, you can still hear everybody, and it gets really messy really quick. Spooky mode uh, changes the field. Here we go. So you see it gets dark. It was made around Halloween just to kind of give it a different uh, overlay, so to speak. So it's a little bit darker, um, different color team. So it's blue and pink, but you'll see I'm orange. Bots. Um, if you're by yourself, you can add bots on both teams. Let's make sure to remove them. Let's go in the admin button. So you can always pause the match or end the match from here. If you want, you can turn the window shield on. So when you're eliminated in the pits, you cannot see on the field. And the latest feature is the concede button. So You'll want to play this on time mode. So if you're down on time and points, you'll want to hit this button. Teams, blue and pink team. Pink team's the better team, trust me. Or you can spectate and it allows you to watch the match without spawning you on the field. Settings, a lot of people can get confused here. You'll see rails or joystick, mainly joystick. Rails, essentially, you would click in your left thumbstick on your controller and it would Basically, you select where you want to go, and the rails would take you to that point. There's no pushing the joystick to move. 
Um, joystick is obviously that. You use your joystick to move around. Secondary grip, uh, toggle it on. So you literally just have to press and toggle. Tracking, head or controller. So if you do head tracking, whenever you're moving, when you're pushing your joystick, wherever you're looking, it's gonna go. Versus joystick, you know, it's going off the controllers. I can go left, right, and such. Now movement, I have mine on both, so I can move with my right and my left controller. If you want just your left, right will then become a snap turn. You can do a nice little victory dance. But I play on both, so that way I can play left-handed and still move. So it's really nice. And that's it for that. This is just the audio channel. Uh, you can mess with your game volume if you want to lower it, if it's too loud in your headset. Voice volume as well, same kind of thing. You can actually leave the channel itself. You won't hear any people talk. Uh, default device. Um, sometimes if your headset isn't your default device, you can come in here and select your headset. The final thing we wanted to touch on is changing plates. You do this by pulling the trigger and shooting at an open plate. If there's someone on a plate, it will not allow you to select it. As well as this box right here, this is the start box. So you wanna make sure your barrel is inserted here and it'll be green when that timer counts down and starts the point. If not, it'll give you a little audio cue and you won't be able to shoot. So remember, green is good, red is bad when you're starting a point. And that will be all for my beginner's tutorial on Snapshot VR. I'll see you on the field.